Hello everyone, I'm in Limbrook this morning. I'm on Langham Place right now. I just took the 1012 bus from Long Island Jewish to Limbrook. And this is 1832. This is a bus I just rode on. And I already noticed for the whole entire bus ride, this bus was having problems. Now over here, yep, we have leaky tailpipes. This is all brought to you by the previous county executive, Ed Mangano. The only one person to point the finger at. And this engine sounds awful. And here's the stupid thing. The windows were open on this bus. Let me just give you a heads up. This is definitely an Orion. It says CNG on the back. So I can tell this is already another epic Orion 7 fail. But yeah, the windows were left open. So, uh... I don't know why nobody noticed the air conditioning was on, because I was the only person for about 30 minutes wondering why the hell were the windows left open. You see, if this was a New York City bus, I would be complaining. But since the coolest people of Nassau County don't realize that uh, lower currents actually giving us air conditioning on the buses, uh, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I really don't. I mean, she's the one putting the funding into the whole bus system. And yet, this is the example of, of what you get. Garbage. I really would want somebody from News 12 to come take a look at these buses. They don't. And look at this, the engine cover up here. Yep, it's open. Let me take a look at the back. Yeah, this engine, this engine pretty much wants to give up. This engine wants to give up. Which again, this is what you get with, with the no maintenance. Uh, then over here is a little bit dirty. I can tell what it is. Four bus maintenance from Nassau County. You get what you pay for. This is why I keep saying the MTA needs to take over nice. Or we need Long Island bus back. Yeah. Epic fail. Epic fail. I want to get a good angle again from the back. Just to prove to you that uh, the driver shouldn't be idling. You should have the engine off if he's not in service. Uh, well, that's what you get with, with, with this county. And the bad news is we're stuck with this contract with, with Transdev for another three years. The county's pretty much stuck with it because, remember, it's Laura Curran. She doesn't want to avoid the contract. You think she really cares? You think she really cares about you riding Nice Bus? Which, by the way, I'm going to say this now. Nice Link's going to be an epic fail. All right. And I was on that bus. I saw the thing from last year about the routes that were going to get cut. Do you know that much of a train wreck it is not having the N51 anymore in East Meadow? It's a disaster. Especially my friends in North America who need that bus. It's a need. It is a need. That's why I'm so annoyed with this county. That's why I'm so annoyed with it. I, again, I didn't speak up because, again, this is Nassau County. People don't really give a crap about no air conditioning at this point because they're pretty much used to it. They're pretty much used to it. But, but if this is this is in Queens, I would be complaining. I would have every right to complain. I want to see down there is Merrick Road. I, I don't know. I don't think I want to cross over there. I want to cross over there because... Uh, I'm on my way to a deli to get lunch, but... <sighs> See, far away, I can still hear that bus. I can hear how loud it is. It's another problem, noise pollution. Nobody's ever heard of noise pollution before? Um, how come we're supposed to be an environmentally friendly state like New York, 
if we're constantly making the decibel levels a little bit louder. You know, I don't get that. Yeah, there's a school bus. I wanted to take a look at it behind me, but... Quickly want to mention that I just saw an M4 um, going to Freeport right now. Because I know the M4 route very well, obviously, because it comes from uh, Jamaica Center on Parsons and Archer. Which I only know that for the fact because yours truly takes the Q30, Q31 to get home from Jamaica Long Island Railroad, which I will be going there later this afternoon. Speaking of the devil, I hear the Limbrook train station right now. So I gotta be very careful because, again, you don't know if these morons can come down the street. Yep, here comes a moron in an infinity. Because, again, they don't yield to pedestrians around here. They don't. I could have been hit by that car. I could have literally been hit by that car. Yeah, up there there's a police activity. I'm gonna find out what that is about. Another epic fail. 1820's having problems. Another failed Orion 7 next gen with a leaky tailpipe. I wanted to start recording that part because uh, the railroad was out. I would unfortunately be taking that bus to Jamaica and then transferring it, you know, Archer to get the 3031 in Queens, but I just quickly wanted to see what was going on. I think the police activity is over. I think they just wrapped up. Um, I don't know what happened, but whatever did happen, I hope everybody's going to be okay because, you know, Never would think in Limbrook stuff would happen like this. You just wouldn't. You would never assume that. Yeah, I'm trying to look for the deli, but I think the police activity just wrapped up. The uh, the M4 pretty much is making its route to Jamaica right now. So yeah, that's the bus stop. Yeah, I can pretty much cross. Yep, there goes an idiot tailgating. That's me again, the South Shore, rude, arrogant people. Ah, so there's Lumbrook Deli. So I'm going to see if uh, I can get some food. and uh, Hopefully we'll do the next segment very short. Alright, so welcome to our main segment of this video. I am here, of course, in Lumbrook. I saw earlier, as I got off the uh, N25, I was meeting a friend here. The lunch and we uh, went to his apartment he lives uh right by the train station over there well, today we're gonna be doing another collaboration with one of my favorite youtubers pine power li today we are going to the most snobbiest town in all of long island that's right belmore we're gonna do a little bit of an area segment along with a tour of the train station john is on his way to jamaica right now he will be arriving here at limbrook at 2.13 p.m. The train trip is supposed to take about 20 minutes. We will be in Belmore around, I would say, 2.33 later this afternoon. As you can tell in front of me, I have this nice little clock behind me. I don't know what time it is. And the positive thing about today is we have a nice, wonderful breeze next to the Atlantic. I could never tolerate that heat and humidity in Queens. So I'm wondering when I get to Belmore, the snob's paradise. Honestly, is it going to be cooler than Limbrook? I'm already noticing this breeze. We'll have to find out. I can notice how uppity this area is. I really can. You know, they're all about themselves around here, except my friend who's near here. He's a nice guy. He doesn't act anything like them, but... In a few minutes, we're going to be waiting for him, and then we will be doing... Uh, Belmore, and we're going to take a look at the train station over there. Alright everyone, welcome to the snobbiest town on all of Long Island, Belmore. We are joined today by... I wouldn't say it's the snobbiest town. But what do you think is the snobbiest? Ask Pika Park. That's where Lisa Pika is from. So I'm gonna say Here that. we got John again from Pine Power LI, so 
John's going to tell you how uh, how the snobs have it good down here. Well, first of all, you don't see any bums. That's the first no part. No bums. No bums. No bums and no vacancies either. The yeah, town. I'm not noticing any vacancies over here. Take a look over there. You can zoom, right? Yeah. Look at that place. That's a nice trendy place. Look at the uh, infinity car there. Yeah, where's Jen's? Jen's is supposed to be a good place. Here's Jen's place. Yep, that opened recently. Yep, they got a nice new place here. They got a deli. They got a well nice old, they got a nice deli down here. Let's see how well everything is taken care of here. And there's a diner right in front of us. Yep. Notice all the Mercedes and other Mercedes there. This is an uppity area. I'm it is, sorry a, it is an uppity this. area. It is an uppity area. It is. It wasn't like that when I was growing up. Now it is. What was it like they even uh, growing up? They even have fancy jazz music playing in the background, too. Why? What did they used to play? They never used to play music here. Yeah. Never used now to play. Oh, my God. Oh, you might want to show me the bus stop was. Where the bus stop was. What bus stop? That was for the 45, 46, uh, and the 50. Really? Yep. Oh, the route that used to go to Sunrise Mall. No, no, no. That route, the, the 45 used to go to Roosevelt Field. The oh. 46 used to go to Hempstead. Hempstead. And the 50 used to go to Hicksville. Oh, we got the green light. And they've all been eliminated thanks to Nice Bus. Thanks to Nice Bus. And they think Nice Boo, Bus. Boo, Nice Bus. Boo. And I think they, all, all those three routes should be restored. This is what I keep saying. Privatization's bad. Yep. You know, privatize the bus company. BMW. I'll give you an example. Look, BMW. Delaware, Delaware as a BMW? whole, maintains their buses. Do you see the BMW, though? Yep. BMW, right there. Mercedes. Where? Up there? Yep. We'll work on that side, too. So. I'm noticing this in Fresh Metals lately, it is? too. You know what I'm yeah. Fresh Metals is a lot of Mercedes Benz on my street. Audi. It used to never be like this. Audi. 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 Infinity, Infinity JX35. Yeah. Isn't that that G55 vehicle you hate? Oh, that one. Yeah, that yeah I don't like that one. I saw GL. it once in Hicksville. I yeah, didn't like it. Up. We have a GL coming up, actually. Speak of the devil, here it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, GL40. Yep. Yeah. how big that thing is. I wouldn't want to drive this. Yeah. I at least want a Honda CRV. Yeah. Ridiculous. What makes these people better than that than everybody else? I, I don't get it. They only want to be with their own kind. That's why I'm noticing it's Lily White. It's Lily White. They only be with their own kind. And I've been told by several people who live here that I will never, ever be allowed to live here. Well, Jaguar. Look, Jaguar. Jaguar. They wouldn't want to put up with me either. Yeah. Trust me. I, I, as I said, I wouldn't want to live in an area yeah. like this. Yeah. I would have nightmares wondering, well, it's nice and quiet, but the problem is, it's too many Wall Street professionals around yeah, here. Yeah. You, are you sure you got the camera set up on wide angle, right? Well, sort of. Yeah. Right. I'm only doing v POV on the front. Oh, oh Range, Rover. Range Rover. Boo! Yep. See what I mean? I should be telling you. Trust me, my dad... Um, my dad has driven Rolls Royces, and that was because he did it for a living. Yeah. Volvo. He was never in Wall Street. Uh, Volvo. Volvos. Volkswagen. Well, it's not really snobby. But Mercedes Benz. Oh, another Audi. Another Audi. Up there. Up there. Up there. Oh my God. My ex girl one of my ex girlfriends goes to that movie theater all the time. She lives north of the Mercedes. Southern States. But she's a snob too. Mercedes. She actually is. She's become more uppity lately. Yeah, what's been cooked oh, no, 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 no. Stop alert. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Did you notice that growing up? Did you hear this Valley Girl voice? Yep, I noticed it. Yep. That's your county executive now. She That's, has. Yep. She speaks like that. Does she? Speaks like that. Yep. <laughs> Man, Gano had that thick it's Nassau thick County Gano's. accent. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he did. You see, there's no vacancies here. It's taken care of. Yeah, I mean, I, my first impressions is, again. Okay, this is where people want to be. They want This is this is a happening place. It's a happening place. I didn't even think they redone the movie theater. I think they did. I'd rather go to this one than Merrick. Just saying. 
Yeah. I was that desperate for a movie. And get this, in downtown Wontaw, they have a McDonald's. Can yeah. you believe them? Yeah, McDonald's. Everyone's a hypocrite. Yeah. As I said, I would be depressed living here. I don't want to live here. I would feel unwelcome, even if I was allowed, I'd feel unwelcome. I'm not allowed. Yeah, they not told allowed. me. No way. They will they not will tell me, the program. They will tell Never, me, oh, ever, sorry, ever. you have um, you have Asperger's. You wouldn't want to live here. Yeah. They would probably tell the same thing to PNW. Oh, yeah, they would definitely tell me. If he ever comes down here, he did, We once did see it. We did see it. What was his impression? Ago. This was many years, this was several years ago, but he already saw it becoming snobby. So he already noticed it. He already noticed it. Before I met you, yeah. Also, point out the power lines that they are all taken care of. There are no crooked poles here. Yeah, when I was, no um, poles. when I was in Great Neck, they took care of the poles. Yeah. But, um, I saw on, uh, Siegendorf the other day that, um, there was a crooked line right by the stop to the Galleria. Oh, really? Yep. That's the blatancy right there. Yep. Thanks to the wonderful people from Nassau County. Yep. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. Boo, boo, boo. I am not in a good mood right now. Yeah. Oh, God. Sob. Look, we have a sob. I haven't seen those in a while. I haven't, seen a sob in a, I haven't seen that in a while either. My goodness. Well. Oh, God, they're showing Christopher Robin early on Thursday. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 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 it's Christopher Robin. Oh, yes. I need my friends to help me. <laughs> Epic fail. I almost fell in a crack. Yeah. I couldn't help it. I grew up with Winnie the Pooh. See how nice this year. Everything's taken care of. Yeah. Power lines are straight. Yeah, I know. I noticed it up there. It's 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 crazy what these people can get away yeah. with over here. I don't understand this it. Whole area has changed. Like I said, it was never like this when I was growing up. It was never snobby. It was never. We never had rich people here. Never Maybe the snobs will understand this. You don't understand all that. My Frank Oz voice. Mm-hmm. It's a nice downtown. Yep. The first National Bank of Long Island, but everyone knows your name. Belmore Republican Club. <laughs> I just saw that. This is not Peter King's district, I know that. I think it is Peter King's district, actually. Really? I think it well, is. They better be voting for him. Yeah. I don't want Louis B. Shirley winning. Yeah, well, so she's gonna flip the seat. She's gonna flip this district. I hope not. I'm sorry, but I've known Peter King for many years. He's a nice man. I've known him since my childhood, even when my, me and my folks used to come down here. You go to Massapequa, and he would always he would always take his kids to the to the Sunrise Mall every weekend. I'm not joking. Him and his kids used to walk the mall every weekend. They go to the diners, they say hi to the police officers. He still does that now, but he doesn't go to Sunrise Mall anymore. He knows how bad it's become. Yeah, the downtown down looks so nice. My God. It's like they are forcing us out. Well, they are. They want to force us into a miserable town, so we leave the island. I don't... Well, that's why I'd rather stay in Queens, just saying. I don't blame you. Better, so. <laughs> I would. Especially how Andy Byford, I'll give him credit, they are fixing the 7. They're finally fixing it after so long we've complained to the MTA about it. Yeah, I'm already noticing it. It's very, it's not good. It's not good for them. Not, not good for me. It's not good for the middle class. 
Umbertos. Another place I want to eat at. Ooh, look, the snaps off this books. Yeah. <laughs> they got this fancy jazz music playing. Oh, God. Actually, I like jazz music. Well, I'm not a big fan of it, but I did like La La Land. La La Land was a good movie, I will admit that. In fact, Amy and Giselle did another good movie called Whiplash. I recommend it. Just on the topic of movies. Oh, God. These are the kind of places we need in our town. Craft breweries. Craft breweries. Get, get out of here. What we need is middle class places. I know, but the problem is if you don't have that, have else worse. Oh, I get it now. Oh, let's walk because into. There is no middle class. We're now at the train station, and you need resident permit parking like Merrick. Oh boy. Yep, they don't want to share their parking. Nope. Because again, here's what snobs think. They think that oh, we don't want to share anything. Trust me, I would share parking. They only want to be with their own kind, so that's the point. They only want to be with their own kind. Now anybody can park here from wherever, and they're coming from all over all the, the place. place. Yeah. <laughs> I know people that come from East Meadow, Hicksville, Westbury. That one would remind me of Elisa Pica. <laughs> the was... railroad is growing. Have you been on the Southern State Parkway lately? Yep, that's how they talk. Yep. <laughs> really annoying. You know where that third one came from, Channel 2? Yeah. That one came from the third track story they did a few years yeah. ago. But those two sound bites came from Files 1. Yeah. Just be honest with me. Is Files 1 really covering local news? They are. They don't talk about Trump? Not as much as Channel 12. They do talk about it, but not as much as Channel 12. Oh, so they do mention Trump for like a few seconds. Yeah. But at least they're talking about like, you know... The problem with Files 1 is it's not news all the time like News 12 is. Well, they, they have like a lot of sports programming and other stuff on there too. But when they do talk the news, they talk about, you know, yeah. like Long Island, like yeah. Nassau, Suffolk. Anyway, yeah, you want to see, see these? This is the, they're renovating the station. Does it look like it needs a renovation I don't think it does. You? Let's go in the waiting room for a second. It's temporarily closed. What? Yeah, it says, yeah, temporarily closed. What? And it wouldn't be open anyway because it closes at 1:45. Uh, normally, two o'clock it closes. No. It's only for the rush hour, people. Oh, it only uh, starting on August 6th. Yeah, new amenities. They're getting a renovation. Yeah. Why do they get a renovation? Yeah. Hicksville needs one. <laughs> Hicksville's getting one, but it's a crap. Room. It's a crap. It's a it's a piece of crap. Yep, this is I what I don't think Hicksville's getting USB anymore. I don't know if they're getting, even getting that. Urgh. They're even getting that. Here's what's impressive about the South Shore, I've noticed. A lot of people down here get a lot of good prices for pastrami sandwiches, yeah. and they taste very good. All right. Belmore. You know, one day I may have to go to Massapequa Park for myself. Yeah, you should check out Massapequa Park. That's where Elisa Pico lives. I may have to one day. She's always looking out for her peeps. Yeah, her. She's always looking out for her peeps. Pika peeps. Do not allow them to play on or near the escalator. Yeah, it's the same announcement they have at Hicksville. I notice it too. Oh, everything is. You might look at Hicksville and it's hard and dirt. It looks like it's a construction. It looks like you're in a blue collar construction zone. Yeah. I don't want to be in that. I'm already noticing up here there's a nice breeze. Wait till I get, wait till I get back to Fresh Meadows. It's going to be humid. Hope my folks have the air conditioning. All right. Look how wider this platform is. Look how wide it is. Hicksville's platforms aren't this wide. Why don't they make the platforms wider at Hicksville? They're too narrow. Yeah, it's like it's like you're being, uh-oh, 
Look who this is! Snaps! <laughs> look! Look! It's Laura Ingram! Look at me! I have three children and yet I'm divorced! <laughs> Trust me, I, I can't watch cable news anymore. And also, look, 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 they got a nice canopy that's, that's, that's a concrete canopy. Why don't they put that canopy in Hitchcock? Why does Hitchcock get plexiglass? Canopy? Yeah. Oh, boy. Hicksville gets plexiglass. Oh, I need to see... Oh, the 312 train stopping in St. Albans. Yeah. How come they never mention that in the schedules? Yeah, I know they never mention it. That's ridiculous. We should be knowing if our train stopping in St. Albans. I know. Yeah, so it's coming in 15 minutes. Oh, it's a nice breeze. Yeah, I'll enjoy it for 15 more minutes. Before I have to go back to Crummy Queens. In the heat. Oh, someone put graffiti. Hmm. Hey, look at this. The snobs even get a PC Richard and Son right off the train yep. station. Yep, they get that too. They got King Cullen, they got PC Richard and Son. That's why they'd rather live here. Yeah. They have to be of their own kind, they get the best train service. And listen to how loud that announcement is. Yeah. Oh my god, it's an M7. Oh boy, look at this. Tell us your story. Don't end it. Suicide is not the answer. Brought to you by Babylon Railroad. <laughs> At this point, it should be Babylon Railroad. I got a good life over here. Yep. Train's not crowded. Train's not crowded. Look at the train. That rock train, let me tell you, this time. It's packed. It's packed. Going around Kakama. Yeah. And hundreds of trains too. Everything on the main line's packed. Not here. Because they get half hourly service. Yeah, they get. They, they have, should be only getting they get hourly service. more than half hourly service. They get half hourly service plus those express trains that connect up with the uh, Montauk trains at, at Babylon. It's ridiculous. Yeah, this is messed good. up. Why, why can't they connect to the Greenpoint train in Rock Yeah. It's not fair. They should be only getting hourly service here. Uh, wasn't this used to be... Oh! What happened? Somebody in an SUV going too fast. They drive like maniacs over here. You know you know what happened when, when I was with NTA Prodigy. When NTA you were with Kevin, yeah. Hit. Some car went and tried to hit us. On purpose, right? Yep. Why do they do that on purpose? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because they thought you guys were just goofing around and doing stuff. And remember, Matt was live on Periscope when it happened. Yeah. Well, as I said, I'm hoping I'm hoping in the fall when we do want to out, we notice the breeze being cooler. Like if it's 60 degrees. Look, they get the brickwork. We they get the get, brickwork. We, we don't get this. this we is don't get solid, this in Hicksville. This is solid. This we is solid. don't get this in Hicksville. This is solid. No. There's no cracks. Even in... Even in Mineola, they don't have this. No, nope, we don't have this either. We're not going to get it either. Yeah, and look at this. Take it off! Same with Matt! Same with Matt! Yep. How do they get artwork? Because they work on Wall Street, and they get what they want. If they work on Wall Street in the banks, you're going to get what you want. From and the you're going to get what you want, and you get a nicer platform. So, if you're capable, it's I have to so tell people white. that they're not... I know. And the snobs even get sales. Yeah. Everything's reasonably priced for them. Yeah, that's right. The, the, get, the, the poor areas actually wind up paying more. This is ridiculous. This is what they're renovating. They're renovating this. There's a new benches. Yep. Let me see that. Let me see this. It's open. Let me see this. They get new benches. Yeah. It does smell like pee in here. But other than that. Oh, God. It's very in here. Other than that, they all this place is a paint job and new lights. That's it. Else. That's it, pretty much. Yeah. Uh
be nicer out here because you get that nice breeze. Yep. Did you ever see the movie Elysium? What's Elysium? It's a movie. What's it about? It. Well, it's basically about in the future how this planet, the planet is dying and it's getting ruined. Bye, and who? all the rich people are, are moving to this special um, spaceship called Elysium. Right. And only the rich people can go there. And so the poor people are stuck living on Earth, which is dying. And the rich, rich people are, are, are living. It's just like Long Island. It's basically the same thing. So pretty much this movie is like... This is Elysium. We are in Elysium here. So we, we are, are in Elysium. In paradise, where the lucky people get to live. Well, we get to live in, in ever-declining uh, Area. areas. Well, I mean, Fresh Meadows, again, I'm in an upper-class area. Yeah. But, well, again... I'm talking more about Long Island. I, yeah. I, you know, it seems to be more of an issue on Long Island than in New York City. Yeah, but pretty much. it is an issue in New York City, because I noticed I was downtown, and downtown is really nice. The Upper City. East Side is nice, too. Yeah. On, uh, on 86th Street, yeah. right where to call Shoals Park. Yeah. Ten more minutes until my have. train comes. Well, meanwhile, we're John jammed in like sardines on the main line. And look at this. You can see Jen's place right there. Yep. Oh, my God. This is really making me feel depressed. I, that's the thing. It's like either way I'm going to feel depressed. Because if I go to Hicksville, I'm going to feel depressed. Because it's depressing now. When I come here, I'm going to feel depressed. Because I realize how much better they got here compared to what we have. Oh, trust me. One day you got to come to the city with me. We got nice stuff in the yeah. city. That's why I take pride in Manhattan. Yeah. My city. Yeah. I'm from Queens. Yeah. No one's gonna touch my, my, my Manhattan. Yeah. I'm sorry for calling it that, but and look at this. This knob's even got a 7-Eleven right by the train yep, station. Yeah, got a 7-Eleven. They got everything with the walking distance. It's ridiculous. If you live here, you have it made. You have it made. You get your coffee. You get your cookies. You got, beef, you got it. You got everything. You got, you got it. Got the supermarket. You got a you got an it's Irish bar. You get an Irish bar here, which again, I I know I know I have an Irish girlfriend. She would get offended by that, but yeah. And here comes All Island, ready to rip off people. Yep. Taxi companies. The library's over there. And, and then get no taxi. <laughs> yeah. It's that paradise. Hey, I smell barbecue. Yeah, exactly. And look at that. Wantua's right down there. Yep. Right down there. If you want to walk on Sunrise Highway, guess where you end up? Wantua. And in Wantua, they have a preserve over there. Yep. See, they get a nice preserve in Wantua. Yeah. Preserve. Pine Barrens, right? Oh, uh, no. No Pine Barrens. Yeah. Oh. Right, you have to around. go to the middle of the island. You have to go more to the middle of the island. Yeah. That's why I like the middle of the island. You got the pine barrens. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have that. Yeah, Stops don't have pine barrens. Yeah, of course you know they that. don't. You have, that. you have to take the main line to get to the pine barrens. Yeah. That one branch doesn't take you to the pine barrens. No, it doesn't. They have a nice park in Babylon, don't get me wrong. Uh, not pine barrens. No pine barrens, no. Yeah, again. Oh, boy. One of the snobs. One of the snobs up ahead. I don't want to get them on tape. To arrive on track two, platform B, approximately six minutes. This is where all the investment goes. This is where all the uh, this is where all the investment goes. It doesn't go to the south shore. I mean, it doesn't go to the middle of the island. It doesn't go to the middle of the island. It they should be. I, I don't understand going? that. See, that downtown has no vacancy. No vacancy in their downtown whatsoever. Meanwhile, Mineola, we have about 30, at least 30% vacancy. Which is not fair. Which is not fair at all. Especially to my Especially, girlfriend. It's not, it's, it's not fair to her. It's not. Are you rolling? What? Are you? I'm so filming. Yeah, okay, yeah. good, because I wanted you to make that point. That Mineola has a 30% vacancy. That's why she has to go to Carl Place. Oh, boy. You know, those pickups think they can do whatever they want. They're making a U-turn. What the hell? Yep. He's got a pickup. He thinks he can do whatever he wants. Skirt! But as I was saying, there's no reason for Mineola to have all the vacancies because we have the hospital, we have the county seat. Why does Belmore get more investment than Mineola when Mineola is the county seat? 
Does exactly. that make any sense to you? That doesn't make it. It makes no sense to me. And as but I said, but it's it, only because we get it, of the quote unquote Lily White demographic. And again, apparently the investors out there, investors who watch this video, uh, I have I have a message for you. You know, non-whites buy stuff too. All right. Indians buy stuff, Chinese people buy stuff, Hispanics stuff, buy stuff, everybody buys stuff, everybody likes to go to restaurants, everybody likes those things. Not just white people. <laughs> Get it through your head and start investing in Mineola because you know what? In 20 or 30 years, this place is going to be underwater due to climate change. I anyway. was just going to say, what if you have a worse storm than Sandy? Yeah, Sandy was not the big one. That's why Sandy and was Gloria, not the big one. And Gloria wasn't the big one either. No, we could get a Category 3. That happened back in 38. Exactly. We had a category three hurricane in 1938 that wound up. Me and John are telling you right now, if you're watching this video, we told you so. If you're watching this after the next big hurricane, yeah, and, because and you are going to regret it. We told you so. You should have went to the middle of the island. Should have went to the middle of the island. Ah, Hicksville should have more stuff. In my opinion. Yeah. People, it's like they just looked at the fact that it's Lily White, finance professional. That's all we're going to invest in. That's, that's all we care about. That's all I care about. It's Portuguese, like Portuguese, about. Portuguese food. That's all Portuguese food. Yeah, that's all well, we have a good Portuguese place in, in uh, Mineola. Mineola, actually. Yeah, we have a, we have a couple of them. Yeah, but so if you go down, down the road, food, come to Mineola. down the road to Wantua. The business. That's where the White House diner is. Yep. And in Wantua, they have a lot of nice stuff just like Belmore. Yep, all these towns do. Merrick, Belmore, Wansaw, Seaford. Yep. Park. I'm sure it'll come right on time. That's what you get with the Babylon branch. Oh, Belmore. Stop's paradise, but not for... The un-lily white and the un-people who are not disabled.